What is going on, everybody? As you can see, we are back. Continuing where we left off. Sorry about the, uh, having to bounce real quick. But we're back, continuing to fight this fucking king crab. So it's about to get loud very quick. I'm here for your second. actual you copy the king is dead that a boy Jim we are well rid of that particular menace somehow I knew you would be the one to collect that bounty I'll let Braddock know Taylor Roche you got beat by that it wasn't so tough is it an award you want c'est toi le roi hein <laughs> Still after us. I should have known they'd never quit. Stop. Stop. Don't worry about them. Just keep on talking, all right? You started the story. You better finish it. Yes. Yes, all right. Where was I? You nearly told Braddock about the survivors. Yes. I nearly did. But I knew it wasn't my secret to share. Though I believed I had seen Braddock's heart that day. That for all his compromises and collaborations, he would never let any harm come to the survivors of the first colony. I had started to think of the first colony survivors as my people. Just as I did the Corona's crew. I'd left one family on Earth just to find two more here. I was trying to be loyal to everyone that deserved it. Keeping secrets within secrets. But deep down, I knew the situation couldn't stand. It was time to put my cards on the table. To get Sovichi and Braddock together. In hopes they could forget the past. And finally heal by helping one another. I didn't know it was already in motion. I didn't know it was already too late. Retro. Jim, dude, did you know Nevik was coming? What are you talking about? Nevik? Yeah, like troops, paramilitary mercenaries. There's a military cruiser docked to the base. There's men with guns everywhere. Major bad vibes. I can't even tell you. Where's Braddock? He's behind closed doors with the guy who seems to be in charge. Don't even get me started on him. I think I heard him asking about you. I didn't know whether to tell you to come in or warn you to stay away. Well, I'm already here. Yeah, I'm gonna go use the fucking elevator all the way over here, huh, game? Or do you want me to go into here? You want me to go up in here? We're going around in circles. I'm here now. We're investigating, and we'll reassess the situation once all the facts are in hand. Ah, Peyton, is it? Thank you for coming. Mr. Braddock, if we could have the room. Pardon me, but this is his office. Jim, don't. Don't make waves. Not now. <sighs> Looks like you got everyone good and freaked out. That's why you're here? Hmm. I can see why you're so well respected around here. A natural leader. Mm -hmm. I am here, you could say, to provide perspective. And you mean Nevek's perspective? Well, considering the resources we've expended to make this effort possible, one could say that that is the perspective. I don't work for Nevek. Indeed. But you take the credits Nevik pays you, so perhaps I can prevail upon you to hear me out. <laughs> I'm sure that you'll come to realize I'm not here to dismantle Braddock's operation, but to make sure that it counts for something. Why are you here? Your family, correct? Done some digging, huh? I understand that motivation better than you 
think. So, tell me, Bayon, is there some other priority? Some new agenda that you place ahead of your family's safety? Trying not Something to off. We've been ice, motherfucker. more important to you now than ever seeing them again? Of course not. Let me tell you why I'm here. I'm here for the human race. Not just for my son's future, but for all the children of Earth to escape extinction. And there is nothing and no one that I will allow to get in my way. That's all. Green, have we uh, located that Dr. Roman yet? Hmm. Looks like I'm gonna be going radio silent for a little while. You looking for something specific? I'm probably gonna be taking Gail got you rummaging days. around for scrap. Gail got you rummaging around for scrap, huh? Mm, <laughs> you can never like carry that. enough grenades if you ask me. Thanks, Thanks Jim. Buddy. You keep fighting a good fight. You too. Gail. Hey, those Nevagoons just dropped off a box of parts for your rig. Something about charging a drained battery, like those big Zeus numbers on the fueling depots. All right, I think we go claw arm with this one. Wire up the fingers, make them into jumper clamps. Yeah, that could work. All right. Sounds good, Gail. I trust your expertise. And then I cranked it to the nines with some Primo booster packs. I lifted off some old T-190s. Pack wrap power for the win, right? <laughs> so check it. Your claw arm is juiced. Pump it, and you can charge batteries in a flash. Got a feeling it would charbroil an acrid in a few seconds, too. But you let me know, OK? Above and beyond as always, kid. Oh, and I'm calling it the shock jumper. Now get out there and shock jump some things. I want the Roche begging for one. So I can tell him to stuff it. <laughs> you got a problem with the Frenchman, huh? Sweet! Let's do this thing! So the only upgrade I don't have is the double smash. Doodles! Don't you ever doodle with me, motherfucker! Pretty sure he said toodles, but uh, I, ain't, I ain't leaving it up to chance. That's a no way, hombre. Chief Warrant Officer Brozak. Prep OPSEC protocol. Report to high score with an analysis read by 0900. Alright, let's see where the hell we need to go now. Feeling we're going to give Dr. Roman a warning. White Canyon Junction. Yep. <laughs> Don't eat the snow. Lost while on foot, plus your nav.
thing looks like a charm. That it does. so hard. Should be back in business. James, are you there? I believe I've made a breakthrough on the source of the storms. Come see me at your earliest. Disappointing. It's a healthy chunk of money. I'm heading to, I got the killing fields, hold on. Okay, uh, player upgrades, damn, I've only got, 
a few technically rig upgrades I've gotten almost all the rig upgrades except one which actually tracks I don't have the uh, dual bash uh, sorry uh, what are the where are my jobs here are my jobs uh, Sorry. I didn't need to teleport there to the peak. Munitions in that box is attached to Briggs' feet on the outside. They're around the outside, around the outside, and around the outside. What's up, Doc? So, did you need something? James, we're on the right track. I can smell it. I've triangulated the approach vectors of dozens of storms, and I think I've narrowed down their likely direction of origin. And we're right about those storm acred. There's every indication they're carriers of the pure stuff as well. Ah, uh, sure. But look, Doc, I gotta tell you. Braddock's out of Coronas. Nevik paramilitary pulled rank, benched him. The new Commandant is bad news. I don't know how much he knows, but he's looking for you. I think you should clear out. I know a place you'll be safe. James, you're being a little dramatic. We're close to the ultimate jackpot. With this knowledge, we could hold all the cards, do you see? Please trust me on this. I've been dealing with Nevik nonsense for years. There's no better protection than having something they want, something that you can bargain with. I'll watch my back, I promise. Now listen, I cooked up some subterrestrial resonance samplers. Subterrestrial resonance samplers. Funny word in there. I'm gonna head over to Pickett's Folly. the cavalry Just does lead to pick its folly, does it not? I can't head directly to pick its folly. Interesting. Well let's go to the killing fields then. I had to pick its folly, I mean... It should be just over here. Bonnie, I'm getting pretty close to where the signal has settled down. You still reading me? Damn, I was afraid of that. Always a bitch getting any reception past Shaq's peak. I'll have to fill you in when I get back. Jim out.
time to deploy the extraction platform. happy. ability to even get on top of the fucking rig and be able to just hold them off from up there. I'm gonna 
something big coming. The other two are fucked off, so we're gonna go ahead and patch up the mech while we got a chance. Whew. We're about out of ammo, so let's grab some more ammo from Seriously? Doing pretty good today. How you doing? You want me to go down here on foot game? Running out of the umbilicals range. Entering blind sector. on an interaction point indicates you do not have the right tool. Um. Well, I think I'm not a murderer. I'm just messed up by not. There we go. Sorry, I drilled outside the lines or whatever. But how can I help if you won't explain it to me? Yeah. What is this place? Not a place. Nushi. Nushi? It's a name Saichi gave her. It means godlike Leviathan. A source of pure tea energy. No. The whole planet is the source. She purifies and provides to those who accept without taking. She is the engine, the 
the organ by which all things of our world are brought into harmony. Wait, so she's a harmonizer? Some giant organic harmonizer? The uh, technology knew she inspired has long outlived those who ever knew her secret. But you're skipping ahead. Go back a second. When I drilled the Akrid attack, like anybody's defending a host, which you knew. You'd seen that before. The frenzy that overran the first colony. I was a scientist for Nevik. It was I who led Nevik's drills to her flesh. I knew she was alive. Yet in my ambition and arrogance, I let them drill regardless. Why? Like any living thing, she fears. She angers, she hurts. Pierce her hide, will she not bleed? Stab her heart, will she not die? She deserved to be protected. And I failed her. There are those who believe that pure tea energy could be the discovery that saves mankind. If we can find a way, as you did, to harvest it respectfully, the lives we could save. You are young, Jim. You have the dreams of a soul untouched by malice. But respectfully is not Nevik's way. They would come to her with drills, and she would defend herself. And if she did not destroy them, they would surely destroy her. They would bleed this planet dry and leave no trace of life. Above all else, Nevik must never know about Nucci. Alrighty then. Thing is fucking massive. Get the fuck out of here before we cause too much trouble. I guess you gotta watch where you step from now on, huh? Where you want us to go? You want us to go back to Shepherd's Peak so I don't have to go to the Yeah, for Shackleton's Peak. I don't know why I thought it was Shepherd's Peak. My brain just. Make it do Gracie, hi. I don't ever want to keep you waiting again. I really don't. I just. don't know what to say right now. This job is a lot more complicated than I ever figured it for. I'm trying to put us first. Stick to the plan, earn what there is to earn, and get on home. I do what's in front of me, what seems right. Sometimes I wonder just what exactly the hell I got myself into.
Beach sounds nice, though. Did the audio, like, somehow reset? Because I feel like somehow getting louder and louder each time. War. We need your best hunters, preferably ones without children. This is gonna get bloody. But what of our plan to, to bring our people together to it's persuade It's too late Bob. for that, Mira. It's them or us now. For decades, I teach my people peace. And now you would have us march to war? Roman's research is what led me to Nushi. Now Nevik has it, and it's only a matter of time. Your men, your Corona's crew, they'll fight alongside us, won't they? Can't count on that. Maybe if I had time to explain who you are. But I've been lying to them so long. It's best we leave them out of it. Suppose we succeed. They will call for reinforcements. Return with greater numbers. Yes, that's why step one is the relay. As long as this cruiser is grounded on EDN3. A sign in changes the current. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm the only one on this shit. What the fuck are you on about? They ain't nobody else here but me. A sign in change has occurred. Uh, no fuck no they ain't. Let me do this one long ass fucking walk again. Now I swear to god, you fuck me over again in the middle of that cutscene and I'ma lose my shit on you. And it ain't gonna be nice! Play out again. Hunters, preferably ones without children. This is gonna get bloody. But what of our plan to, to bring our people together to it's persuade? It's too late Bob? for that, Mira. It's them or us now. For decades, I teach my people peace. And now you would have us march to war? Roman's research is what led me to Nushi. Now Nevik has it, and it's only a matter of time. Your men, your Corona's crew, they'll fight alongside us, won't they? Can't count on that. Maybe if I had time to explain who you are. But I've been lying to them so long. It's best we leave them out of it. Suppose we succeed. 
They will call for reinforcements. Return with greater numbers. Yes, that's why step one is the relay. As long as his cruiser is grounded on EDN-3, Eisenberg needs the satellite relay to broadcast off-planet. So we're gonna need to blow it up. We can do that. Once you turn against your masters, how do you expect to ever see your family again? You would strand yourself here. We don't destroy the cruiser, we commandeer it. Once we break Nevek's grip, we give everyone a choice to stay or go. And once you go, how long before Nevek returns again to look for their lost? Before we destroy the relay, we'll hack it. Use it to send a message. I've got an idea that should buy you another 50 years. The relay gambit doubles as a diversion. When Eisenberg sends troops to investigate, your forces will be ready to hijack the cruiser before they even think of returning it to orbit. We will be ready. Jim, I can handle the explosives, but I haven't a hacker skill. On that part, we're gonna need a little help. <laughs> I'm so in. Really? But I haven't explained I it. I assumed it had something to do with the snow princess you've been hanging out with. It's cool. I saw her on your rig's video feed. I figured you'd explain it when the time was right. Jim, I know who I trust. I trust you. Just say the word. <clears throat> You're a good man, Gail. You're a remarkable young man. Nobody's ever called me a man before. Probably because they thought you'd say that. <laughs> well, what, cool. What, what, what do we get to do today? All right. I don't Let's know get you where upgraded. It, but... Always a pleasure, my man. Is this it? Is it time to go? Is it literally go time? Because listen, man, there's no going back after this. You want to tie up any loose ends, maybe line up a few more upgrades, you better see to it before we get this party started. It's go time. It's time, Gail. Let's saddle up. I'll bring you up to speed on the way. So wait, this Nucci thing is where pure tea energy comes from? And it heals flesh? And it somehow helped the colonists survive for 40 years? Kid. Pull this off, we'll have time to review the details on the way back to Earth. Right, right, because then we, us, you and I, are gonna hijack Eisenberg's ship and, like, not die. Look, one step at a time. First, we gotta make sure they can't call for backup, and make sure Nevek never wants to return to this planet. You better be able to hack the relay. <laughs> you sure he's up there? <laughs> Where did she come from? Ninja Snow, Snow Princess. Princess. You'll get used to it. There were no adults available. Hey, you should talk. None as smart or as loyal. Just trust me, all right? Aww. <laughs> He'll be tested soon enough. What's that mean? Huh? Huh? What you got there? An abundance of C4. Oh, that is so dope. Yeah, so... Hi, Gail. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Team Jim. My name is... You talk strangely. <laughs> I'm asking your name, lady. Or girl, woman, person. Mira. 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 Is that Spanish? <laughs> I don't know what to ask someone from another planet, okay? This is new. I thought I'd start with something basic, but apparently you guys haven't worked all that out yet. That's cool. It's only been 40 years. No hurry. You talk very strangely. Jim, is it me? You're doing great, kid. Now here, when you wrangle the direct access, here's the thing to upload for broadcast. It's something I pieced together from distress calls I've been finding. Sort of a we're all gonna die, stay away, whatever you do kind of thing? That's the gist. Nevik didn't want to come back here at all till Braddock twisted their arm. We need to make sure it's too expensive to try a third time. If there's one thing we know Nevik will respect, it's their bottom line. And then we need to kill this channel before Eisenberg can tell them all about Nushi. They hear about a mother load of pure tea energy and they'll be back no matter what. Mira, all set with the explosives? Yes. I've identified the critical supports in the structure. Should bring it right down. 
already. No team jam. Damn it, they're here. It wasn't supposed to be guarded. Power offline. That's where I need to get. They cut the power. We're stuck. Then I'll get us unstuck. Take cover and sit tight. Make yourself known. If they don't ambush me in any of the crawling sections, I'll be fine. Shotgun instead of the Valkyrie for a little bit. We ain't used it before, so we'll see how it operates. Should be good in these close quarters. Entering Shackton's. Shackton's Peak? Disabled the last uh, relay. Pretty stupid of them, all things considered. System malfunction. Rebooting system. Oh, there's some shit on the other side of this door, I have a feeling. System online and ready. I'll open the goddamn door. Oh, 
Why the shotgun is out? What are you fellas, huh? Pick up the ammo game, let me pick up the ammo. I need it. Reload and keep moving. Sir. Damn rig up Kale, here. Mira, reactivating the tram now. Affirmative. I think you're supposed to say Roger. Jim does affirmative work too? Just get up here. Wow, crouchy. You'd think he just declared war on an interplanetary corporation. Mm. Wait, is this still on? Jim, I threw him over the railing. He was not required, was he? Ah, that's funny. I like jokes about killing me. Cool. I'm nervous. Are you guys nervous? <laughs> God, I'm annoying at this altitude. Take him to the oh, relay station. Yeah. Once you unlock the tram gate and retrieve your rig, so I will descend on foot and cover our flank. All right, just stay in touch and don't go too far. I want you close when it's time to plant the explosives. Jim, we can do this, right? Don't you worry. Nice girl. Yeah, I had a hunch you might think so. She got a boyfriend, you think? Probably got a boyfriend. Gail? Yeah? I mean, not the time. Right, right. Focus. Okay, uh... You're gonna need to grab your rig and orient the satellite dish. Yep, I can do that. Jim, reinforcements are turning up in numbers. I'm falling back. Okay, so I'm gonna take that as my cue to hurry the hell up. Come on! Get out, stupid loading screen! I don't know why it thinks WASD is. Okay, hacking into the system. I haven't done this in a while, so bear with me. <laughs> They're still using Nev OS 9.2, which is super easy to backdoor. Just hold tight out there, make sure nobody sneaks up on me. They are calling the tram back. We may have to find another way down. I am working my way back up to you. Are we looking, Gail? Dude, I just got here. I need a little time. Jim, Nevic Cruiser inbound. I think they brought their whole army to stop us. Wait, it is passing us. Do you see it? Where could they be going? Jim, the tram is coming back up to you. Prepare yourself. Oh, shit. Jim Pedro, this is Ornau Lawar In the name of Nevek, you are here by order to stand down and return to base in my custody. Roche, you don't need to be getting mixed up in this. Save it, Peron. Colonel Eisenberg told us all about what you are up to. 
collaborating with a faction of snow pirates to sabotage our mission and steal the de-energy for yourself. You believe that? Don't try to deny it. We already found your friends. Their encampment is under siege as we speak. The cruiser is headed for our home. It's all right, Mira. Go. For what it's worth, this upload is working, I think. Without Mira, how do we blow things up? You look like changing priorities. The Roach, I have no beef with you. We don't have to do this. I've seen you with my own eyes. Your secret meetings in the wilderness with them. Braddock may not see you for what you are, but I do. Hmm. Who do you think called Nevik down here, huh? Oh, oh shit, Tom. Tom, son of a bitch. Hey, now. Yeah. After I cut your rig to scrap. Remember, you brought this on yourself. <sighs> Come on, Peron. Don't make this any harder on yourself. Open your eyes, LaRoche. They're playing you. If you had nothing to hide, you'd surrender already. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. You can get the absolute fuck off the team. Gale, where's his main generator? Okay, um, on the 286s, it's behind his right clavicle. Go after his right shoulder. If you would stop being you for a second, I could explain. Yeah. Down one arm. Okay. Now you're pushing it. Now you're pushing it. You motherfucker. Just trying to get through the damn game, and you gotta be a fucking cunt about it. Open your eyes, LaRoche. They're playing you. If you have nothing to hide, you'd surrender already. Gale, where's his main generator? Okay, um, on the 286s, it's behind his right clavicle. Go after his right shoulder. You would stop being you for a second, I could explain. Come on. 
fuck up. Dude, loving the footwork, but try to grab his left shoulder and crack the casing to get out of the comm unit. Yep. Ah, oh, whatever. Really, what you're concerned with right now? Fuck, I like go Seriously? the wrong button. Seriously? Right, Motherfucker just made yeah. a DMP me. Bastard. Yeah, come on. Come on, girl. <clears throat> I'm working on it. Look at you, speedy fucking Gonzalez. Bastard. I'm gonna make sure you aren't able to run from me. Yeah, he did.
Come here, LaRoche. Call me all the names you'd like. It's over. Stop! Don't kill him, dude! Please! Show this good man mercy! You were one of us once. I don't know why you hijacked me and made me help you. But I know you're not a killer, so just... Good thinking, kid. Just go yeah. help out your new friends. And let us go! All right? Do you hear me? Come on, Macho Man. Let's call Braddock and get you home. <laughs> And that's how Gale bought himself a reprieve. But the forgotten back at the camp, well, they weren't so lucky. Yeah, we gotta go help the forgotten. We're gonna need it. Mira, I'm at the camp. Come in. Mira, where are you? Son of oh, a damn it. Jim, be careful. There's soldiers all over the place. Go ahead and stop them. Soichi fell back to his chambers. Find him before they do. 10 4. And shotgun's actually not that great. Oh! Oh, that's that's a blue boar shit. Oh, I'm gonna push back nearby acred with melee attacks. That was close to killing me. That was scary. Where the fuck am I going? Up, over, around, down, down, down. No? Through here. Come on. This one screaky deer. They were on us before we could launch our attack. But we were ready and better armed than they expected. We held the gate long enough for Patorti to lead the children to safety. Most yeah. of the colony is falling back to the caves. The Nevik troopers are chasing them, but they'll find nothing. It's we that have to hide before they return. Did Mira make it here? Yeah. She was looking for her father. Talk about a height requirement. Thanks. 
Hello there, fellas. Didn't realize there were two more of them up there. That's on me. I should have cleared it better. Just hoping to get through. I want the Valkyrie. Ooh. What is causing them to explode like that? I know it's clear now. as much as possible, but evidently it seems it's not always possible. Tell us what you were hiding here. I'm a reasonable man. But um, the green here, he's, he's more of a shoot first, ask questions of the bereaved parent later kind of guy. Your choice, but um, better to choose quickly. Righteous crusader, Colonel. It's the goddamn delusional murder. Since we have a stalemate, Peyton, you might rethink your position if you had all the facts. Yeah, I can't wait for the next big lie Nevex got cooked up for us. Hun, I only have a second. The rioting spread is not safe here anymore. Some Nevex men are here. They're gonna take Hank and me into protective custody. Just wanted you to know we're okay. Don't worry about us, sweet. You wouldn't. Which is it, man? Tell me again who you think I am. Ow. We are taking Jim Payton into custody. 
having found him in collaboration with a faction of snow pirates seeking to undermine Nevik operations. Prepare them for interrogation. Start again. From the beginning. See, it uses the thermal energy itself as a resonator, which should make it especially effective on groups. See, to finish mapping the frequencies, uh, it's delicate work, fraught with peril, but with time, I expect great results. Interesting work, Dr. Kovach. But I don't imagine it'll take as long as that. No, don't! Interesting work indeed. That girl they're holding in my office. She's part of the lost colony, isn't she? There are survivors after all. All this time. Innocent souls stranded here so that I could live. And you, you kept this from me? You lied to me to protect them from harm. I did. I'm sorry. Entirely premature. Whatever the nature of this Nushi entity, we need more time to study it. These notes from Dr. Roman are a fine enough start, but when may I speak with her? I'm afraid she's KIA, Doctor. Deceased. Deceased? But that undermines her productivity almost completely. That's a highly questionable personnel decision. No one is bigger than the mission. Something you would all do well to remember. What the hell's that beeping? Jim, it's Braddock. Say nothing. There's not a lot of time, so listen carefully. They've had you on sodium verabarbital, but you should be coming out of the fog by now. It's a narcosynthetic twilight serum Nevik uses for interrogation. I don't know what you told Eisenberg, but assume you have no secrets left. Now I'm gonna get you out Shit, of here, but you're gonna play exactly as I say. Now in about 30 seconds. Phil, no, I can't. They've got Grace. They've got my son. I gave myself up to protect them. Jim, if they get their way, nobody's safe. Don't worry. I have a plan for your family. I'm not letting any more innocent blood fall on my hands. If you've ever trusted me, you have to trust me now. What plan? Tell me. One step at a time. First, we spring you. Stand by. Evacuation protocol oh. initiated. That shouldn't happen. Aiden, help me! Have fun, Doc. Now yeah, we're getting somewhere. All right, we're clear. Okay, 
can't take this guy's gun. That's some absolute horseshit. Okay, maybe I gotta go the other way then. You only got your shirt, your pants, and your boots, and a hunting knife. Now, but go get your weapons. They're in storage around the corner to your right. Once you're locked and loaded, make your way out to the hangar and await further instructions. I hope to hell you know what you're doing. my gear. I must got a death wish. He's escaping. Take him out. Oh. This pistol is what I am talking about. The prisoner is loose. Repeat. Ranch hand is loose and on the move. Ranch, Ranch hand. is preferable. Not critical. For the ranch hand, here he comes. Gonna get you. He's Take me away. Have some fun on a bun. You in the hangar? Make your way to my office. That's where they're keeping your friend from the first colony. Any Corona's crew you see, tell them to spread the word. My orders are to evacuate the hangar and rendezvous up at Delta Station. It's already dangerous for them, and it's not getting any safer. Hey, look, Jim's out. This mean they cleared up that snow pirate nonsense? Not exactly. Braddock busted me out. He's got a plan. Says you should all hightail it up to Delta Station quick and quiet. Pass it along, okay? Hang on, Jim. You don't look like you're falling back to Delta. If we're picking a fight here, I want in. I don't think open rebellion against trained mercenaries is the plan. Let's try to avoid a bloodbath if we can. Get everybody to Delta. I'll see you there soon. This is a Frenchie. Your freelancer pal shot my buddy. Now I'm taking it out of your ass. Hey, there he is. Good little 
road. They were gonna kill me. I don't understand. After everything I did. Yeah, you screwed up. But your family. everyone at Delta Station. Not till you're in the clear! You sons of bitches are gonna regret the day you cross this crew! Nevik abandoned their last colony and they'll do the same to us! The crew didn't stay alive as long as they did on this rock just to roll over for these pigs! Oh, get out of here. I'll be sure to handle the rest. Jim, were you coming to save me? Maybe a little. You okay? <sighs> Not sure. I feel strange. Man, they drugged you. It'll pass. Listen, we need to get out of here. Can you run? I don't know. What'd they give her? Sodium, uh, something bad. Can you watch her? Sure thing, kid. Go do what you gotta do. 10-4. Thanks, Birdie. Get yourselves to Delta Station as soon as you can. Phil, she's free. What now? It's pandemonium over here. Your rig. We need it for what's next. Still a lot of bogeys between me and Gertie. Time for phase three, then. <laughs> mayday, mayday, mayday. Corona's vessel is under attack by snow pirates. All Nevic units move in now. Repeat, all Nevic troops to Corona's vessel. Gertie, hmm. let's go. Okay, now take the rig outside to the ravine. We've got work to do. Ten four. Boss. All of Eisenberg's men are massing on the Corona ship or on the Nevik cruiser docked to it. We've got to act fast before they smell the trap. I don't know, boss. Even with the element of surprise, we don't have the manpower for a frontal assault. I know, Jim. That's why we're scuttling the whole shebang. I've set charges at the key structural points, keeping the Corona stable. If it goes down, so does the cruiser. And so does Eisenberg and his whole wretched army. Are you serious? Less effort to keep Coronas from falling into the ravine. Now we're gonna knock her down on purpose? It's the only way to save our crew and the survivors from the first colony. But first, you're gonna have to destroy the moorings. Time to plant the bomb. This feels pretty crazy wrong, boss. Listen, Jim. There's no future for Coronas. I saw the writing on the wall when Eisenberg marched in that so-called snow pirate girl right in front of our crew. After all the lives they've been willing to sacrifice to keep their secrets, what's that tell you? My men mean nothing to them. 
Just more witnesses to a race. If I can't give you anything else, I owe you a fighting chance. Thanks, boss. All right, it's done. That's all of them. Good work, Jim. Now take the elevator up to Delta. Make sure everyone's safe. Wait, aren't you at Delta too? I'll see you there, Phil. Right? Jim, don't blame yourself for any of this. You were right to hide them from me. I couldn't have protected them. I couldn't even protect Bonnie. So much loss I can never undo. But I can do something. What are you talking about, boss? Just meet me at Delta. We'll work everything out. Phil? Braddock, do you copy? What's going on? Fall in here, Al. Braddock, where are you? I'm right where I need to be, Jim. Braddock? What's that mean? Kingfisher, squad's convened Corona side on your order. Nobody's here. What? I did not give that order. Get out of there! Do you hear me? Get the hell out! Forgive me. goes. Where's Braddock? Where's the old man? He went down on the ship. What? Why? It was a ruse. He lured them in. The Nevek troops, they're all gone. He saved us. Damn it, Braddock, why did you do that? You need to lie to me just one last time. Hmm. How the hell are you gonna take care of my family now? Jim? Where is he? He called in every last favor to get them free of Eisenberg. Gave her a choice, she insisted on coming here. I just had to be there to intercept the drop. Nice to see a plan work out for once. Where's our little boy? <laughs> the snow cat's still groggy from the cry of sleep. God, he's not even gonna recognize me. <laughs> Look, Gracie, you know this place ain't safe. It shouldn't be. Shh. We're together now, we're gonna stay that way, got it? Whatever comes, we're facing it together. No regrets. No regrets. There's so much to tell you. Hayden! Hayden! Doc, hang on. Colonel Eisenberg is still at large. He knows all about Nushi. He's going there now. He's got a military rig and my revised prototype. Wait, the Agrid go berserk device? Well, that can't be good. He thinks he can use it to control Agrid, resonating his signal through Nushi. Influencing Acred all over the planet. But that's crazy, isn't it? He won't be able to use all the frequencies all at first, but through trial and error, I expect he'll figure out at least enough to kill us all. Fucking oh, shit. I'm gonna pass out now. Oh, well. Oh. Pretty accurate, Dale, Gale, Mirror, get back to that satellite relay and blow it to hell. Are you serious? This place is ours to protect. Can't stop Eisenberg. Calling for backup is going to be his first move. Go now. Home sweet home. Yeah. yeah. Come back to me. Always.
track. Better see this through. trying to do colonel it'll never work your very presence here proves you know that's not true wow a lot of energy in the You're too late, Peyton. I've reached the heart of this creature. <laughs> You're just in time for a demonstration. I think we're gonna have to leave the rig behind for now. Do it. The more time I have to work with this device Dr. Kovac cooked up, the more I see its potential. Did you ever stop and listen to him explain his work? He used the tea energy itself as a resonator. And <laughs> as you yourself told me, this Nushi may be the ultimate source of pure thermal energy. Sounds to me like the perfect antenna. Let's see. I believe if I do this... Oh, things are getting shaky. leave the rig behind for now. The more time I have to work with this device Dr. Kovac cooked up, the more I see its potential. Did you ever stop and listen to him explain his work? He used the tea energy itself as a resonator. And <laughs> as you yourself told me, this Nushi may be the ultimate source of pure thermal energy. Sounds to me like the perfect antenna. Let's see. I believe if I do this...
Uh, game? Really? I managed to slip off the edge. Yay! Am I gonna have to fucking restart from the zipline bit deploying it? Probably. Yep. I think we're gonna have to leave the rig behind for now. The more time I have to work with this device Dr. Kovac cooked up, the more I see its potential. Did you ever stop and listen to him explain his work? He used the T-Energy itself as a resonator. And, <laughs> as you yourself told me, this new she may be the ultimate source of pure thermal energy. Sounds to me like the perfect antenna. Let's see. I believe if I do this... Oh, that was a great grenade compared to some of my other ones. Ah! murdered my entire squad in an act of depraved terrorism. You took my men, my ship, my base. All I've got is my wits, my vital suit, this device, and now control of the A-Crib. You took my army. I'll summon a new one. Pretty interesting thought. Care to put it to the test? Seem like a level playing field. 
Good. Then I suggest you stand down if you want to see tomorrow. All right. Just one condition. Just another bad idea. Flying, shooting antibodies. away from the rig come on come get some yet. Justify your means. I got a couple dead friends who disagree. And I've got the souls of a hundred men at the bottom of a ravine who would like to call you a hypocrite, but they're dead. Huh? I'm not dumb, Peyton. I see what you're doing. 
don't you stab me? Difficult to deal with, for sure. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> What? No defiant quips? Starting to sink in that you're not the triumphant hero? <laughs> Surely you realize Nevik will come back for me. Don't bank on it. I think you're dead. I think I can figure out the relay once we're done here. Maybe. Except Mira's blown the whole thing up by now. You're bluffing. Without the relay, you'd be stuck here yourself. Yeah. yeah. Home sweet home. You got some fight in you. So did your scientist friend before I put her down. There we go. Ah, my knee.
off what felt like days, losing more blood than a man should. Knew she was dead. I'd killed the giver of life. I didn't know if any of us could survive after that. Jim? Jim? Honey, what happened? Most of the remaining energy reserves that used up were just healing me. Well, most of me. They were grateful. Said all debts were paid. But they didn't know the truth of what I'd done. Like Soyuchi before me, I dedicated myself to protecting those I'd endangered. And you know all about Gale and Mera. Together they were unstoppable. They ran with their father's work and built the first harmonizers. Mimicking new sheep, purifying base T energy to sustain and extend life. Thanks to them, we survived. But without Nushi around to maintain the climate, the whole planet was vulnerable to terraforming and all the nightmares that came with it. Even our best efforts couldn't keep this world a secret forever. Harmonizer tech was just another prize to fight over. By the time a Crimson Unity landed, it was a war without end. Yep. Gil took the fight to them. I tried to keep us secret and safe. But our struggles would go on for generations. A birthright of blood for our children. And our grandchildren. I'm sorry this is the life you were born to. My fight ends today. May you live to see the end of this. Forgive me. Please don't. <laughs> Jim, are you in here, mon ami? Low Roche, you dirty bastard. Yes. Is he, uh... If anyone's earned peace at last, it's him. Au revoir, my oldest friend. Don't worry, you've taught her well. All grandfather's stories were now my own. My destiny, my own to shape. What if it could all be over? What if we could turn the tables and take this planet back? I have a plan. The entirety of Lost Planet 3 done. We've now I took a look at before the first Lost Planet game with the with this game, obviously before the first Lost Planet game, Lost Planet Extreme Condition, and then the end credits there are and the uh, the whole entire old uh, what's his name. Old Jim, wow, I forgot the main character's name. Old Jim stuff is after Lost Planet 2, I believe. But that's all we have on Lost Planet for now, so until next time, this is Solo Fett, signing off.